<تصفيق> زائد هاري كريشنا هاري بول ماني جريتينغز هير فروم جيرماني ماي نيم از ساتشي ناندن سوامي اند اي ام فيري فيري اكسايتد تو شير توداي وذ اول اوف يو سمثينغ اون لورد شيتانيا ماها بابو اند ذس اميزينغ فيستيفال ذا راثا ياتا فيستيفال ويتش از ا فيري ديير celebration to all those who are wanting to experience the reality of Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada once said, this is a festival of feelings. We can feel uh, uh, closer to Krishna. We can feel our attachment to Krishna rise. And we can uh, also become free a little bit more of the burden which we all feel in this world, the, the karma. So, uh, uh, today I was uh, requested um, to say something on Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on, uh, in terms of the uh, Rathayata festival. And I want to share with you a kata a narration which is very, very, very powerful. I read to you what is the Shruti Fal or the result in uh, hearing this. Hmm. I think we all feel we have this problem. Our attraction and attachment is so diverted to so many other things. But this kata or this narration uh, will mm, do something to you. It will help you to feel attraction and attachment to Krishna. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said, anyone who hears the, the description of the car festival will attain Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He will also attain the elevated state by which one will have firm conviction in bhakti and love of God. This is what we want to obtain when we listen to uh, words about Krishna. We want to really feel closer to Krishna. We want to feel that our attraction is really uh, coming out of the core of the heart and stops being diverted to Maya uh, or to the material uh, distractions. We want to, to see that we again and again uh, come, come closer uh, to Krishna. So let us start then. I request you to somehow be attentive, mm. multitasking <laughs> is our constant problem, I know, but for now it's good if we can focus on this kata. Mm. Let us offer our obeisances to Srila Prabhupada first and then proceed. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paskatya de Shatadine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vashadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेवा जय सुभद्रा प्लीज जॉइन मी जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेव जय सुभद्रा इन अ वे देस नथिंग विच कैन सुप्राइज कृष्ण he has seen everything everything originates from him so how can he be surprised about his own creation however there's one thing which originates from us one thing which has to come from the devotee one thing which can even surprise him who's usually not surprised by anything and that is our love our attachment our attraction which is going to him that is in our possession that is something for us to give so the lord of the universe see uh, jagannath became surprised by exactly this uh thing the love of uh of one devotee who's very first and foremost devotee see chaitanya mahaprabhu mm. there's a verse sajiyat krishna chaitanya shri ratha krishna nataya येनासीच जगतम चित्रम जगनाथो पि विस्मिता विस्मिता मींस वेरी सरप्राइज्ड मे द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य हु डांस्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कार्ट ऑफ श्री जगन्नाथ बी टोटली ग्लोरीफाइड by seeing his dancing not only was the whole universe held in wonder but lord jagannath himself <laughs> became very much astonished let us look at this a little bit more closer and let us also see if we can possibly uh extract some inspirations for our own uh bhakti from from this the surprise of the lord huh mm. it was early in the morning sri chaitanya mahaprabhu had gotten up early with his associates mm. uh, and they moved to the eastern gate of the jagannath temple waiting for the lord of the universe to make his appearance from the dark um, entry gate it was dark because it was well shaded and there was was a major construction and so on. they had come for a very intimate and special fest festival which is called the pandu vijay temple a uh, festival Mm, and mm, it uh, is uh, something very uh uh sweet <laughs> mm, it comes from the word pahanti pahanti means when you teach a child how to walk in the same way the devotees of the lord of the universe waited 
for Jagannath because they wanted to help him walk on his cart. <laughs> um, have you ever taught a child how to walk? You grab him by his hands and then you move forward. Um, best is you move backwards because the child has to learn to move forward. And in this way gu guide the first steps of the child and bring him where he needs to go. Lord Jagannath, the Lord of the Universe, was giving himself into the hands of the devotees like a child who gives himself to the, into the hands <coughs> of uh, 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 his parents or whoever teaches him how to walk. Because Lord Jagannath's heart was like that of a child, molten, very, very happy, very excited, very inspired, because he wanted to leave the confines of the temple, the confines of the ritualistic worship, and move by card to another domain, uh, the domain of uh, love without restriction, the type of love which is found in Vrindavan. So he was escaping the temple, so to say, uh, for which he needed his loving devotees to guide him uh, on the chariot. Why guide him? Because he was drunken with love. He was intoxicated. He was totally overwhelmed. So the devotees uh, uh, brought a silken robe around the waist of Lord Jagannath. They were left and right to his side, uh, touching him, and, uh, and he was moved uh, from one cushion to the next cushion. Uh, they were straining to carry him from one cushion. The rope was there, which gave him some balance. And in this way, almost like taking a jump from cushion to cushion, he, he was moving forward. This was a big, big celebration. The pandas had their gongs, metallic uh, gongs there, and they were in rhythmical patterns. Uh, making a, a half, a heart elating music. Mm, uh, and everyone was besides himself seeing how Lord Jagannath with a beautiful crown made from flowers came out of the temple. He needed a flower crown because in Vindavan, the land of love, the highest love, Flowers are the decorations, not so much gold and jewels. <laughs> so there was a big, 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 big commotion. And over this commotion, one single pilgrim's voice could be heard. It was the ecstatic, love-drunken voice of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who called out, Mahima! Mahima! Mahima. Mahima is an address which is used to glorify an exalted personality. Something like, oh, you are so great. Um, and so on. This was the, the scene. My dear devotees, I was once fortunate <laughs> to see this. Uh, how Lord Jagannath emerged from the inside of the temple. I heard the staccato-like beating of the gongs. I saw how the pilgrims who, who had waited for his appearance, sometimes for a few hours, uh, yes, they came early because the date was quite early, or the time was quite early, but then 
it was involved that he could not leave, Lord Jagannath could not leave the temple because he had eaten a lot the evening before and therefore could not really get up so early. So, so we and countless other pilgrims waited. Uh, then all of a sudden we heard the gong play. First um, Baladev came out, then Subhadra, then the Sudarshan Chakra whistling and whirling around. He was carried in a fast way. And then the highlight, the greatest of all of personalities, the exalted Lord of the entire universe came out. First we saw above the crowd his flower crown moving left and right. And then he was sometimes carried by the pilgrims. There was the silken robe, there was the kai, was the cushion, it was carried. And he was more or less carried at the, that time. And I could notice the day he was going left and right, left and right. And later I had an opportunity to ask one of the priests who had carried Lord Jagannath, why is he moving so erratically, not in a straight line out of the temple and then onto his cart? And the priest shared something. He said, people may think we are carrying the Lord. People may think we, uh, priests, control his movements. But the Lord always carries us. He makes us always move. <laughs> so he go, sometimes boom, it goes left, sometimes it goes wrong, right. <laughs> so in this way, the Lord is moved, uh, moving on his own will, and not by the strengths of anyone else. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mother Lord, <laughs> golden avatar. He took a little sandalwood and he decorated each single one of his devotees. He put mm, garlands around him and divided his own uh, group of devotees into seven different kirtan. Uh, groups. Mm, uh, four were stationed before the cart of Lord Jagannath. Um, then um, mm, one was in, on each side, uh, uh, and then one Kirtan group was in the back, and they all began to simultaneously. Uh, start their kirtans. Mm. My dear devotees, there were, was the sound of 40 medangas and the sound of kartas and the enthusiastic exclamation of the devotees, uh, all shouting Mahima and Jai Jagannath and uh, some also Jai Gaura. Mm. If you like to get into the mood, please repeat after me. Mahima! <laughs> Jai Jagannath! Jai Goranga! And in this way, slowly, the kirtan picked up and the pullers of the cart started to take the rope Mm, they unfurled the roll which was lying there like Ananta Shesha and they started to pull the cart uh, of their beloved Lord, helping him to move from the big mandir, the Sri mandir, to that flower-filled garden which represented uh, Lord, uh, uh, represented Vindavan, the Gunnicha. India. Mm. There was a kirtan going on. I would like to tell you a little bit about the kirtan. It, uh, this type of kirtan 
which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his devotees did, was a unique creation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not only was it musically extremely artful in terms of singing, in terms of playing the proper rhythms and the loudness, but oh, there was such an exuberance there that his kirtan, uh, the kirtan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is described to be almost electric. You know, when you have a live wire and you touch it, <laughs> you will feel the electricity. So touching the live wire of Goranga Mahaprabhu's Prema Bhakti, uh, by just watching him dance and chant, was an experience that immediately, uh, how do you say, jumped over or was transported into the hearts of all the bystanders. Yes. Mm. Mm. The devotees had an effulgence as they were chanting, uh, and they looked like storm clouds being moved by the wind of their internal feelings. Uh, and soon these uh, devotees started to cry ecstatically, just like storm clouds after some time begin to shower and rain. Anyone who was seeing this and was even also touched, you know, by the tears of the devotees was immediately transported without any sadhana or practice uh, or any high qualification to the level of devotional love. Mm. They became wild with love, forgetting their own selves. And at every moment, the devotees sang and danced as they surrounded Lord Chaitanya. Now, the text which we in, uh, initially heard spoke of Lord Jagannath's reaction as being vismita, being very ast astonishing. What was so astonishing? In Puri, there were many Kirtan groups coming and going, and, uh, jumping, uh, even crying, and showing symptoms of ecstasy, was not something which only the Kirtan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had. No, this Jagannath Puri, if you go today doing Jagannath festival, you will see extreme uh, 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 blissful, um, let us say, manifestations of love. You will see dancers dressed in the dancing costume. You will see entertainers who whirl fire brands around. You will see the uh, devotees who are dressed up like Hanuman uh, and uh, even disguised with the facial features of Hanuman and uh, club. Uh, it's really a festival of feelings or divine emotions. Still, Lord Jagannath uh, was mm, mm, uh, uh, surprised, so much surprised that he brought his cart to a standstill. What did he see? What moved him so much? Two things in particular I want to mention. The first is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced and chanted and sang songs like it. He didn't sing, sing but the devotees around him sang sings songs like, finally I have again gained the Lord of my Heart, for whom I was pining in the fire of separation. Or uh, and other songs, I'm putting my head down before the lotus feet of the Lord. Now, as Lord Chaitanya 
sang these and many other devotional uh, kirtans, he could not contain the joy in his heart any longer. He expanded in <laughs> seven forms which began to uh, go into the various, the seven kirtan groups and dance there and chant there. So much so that the devotees explained to each other, Prabhu Mahaprabhu is dancing in our party. He has given our chanting party predominance <laughs> and a special position. Our Prabhu is uh, with us only. This reminded the devotees of an incident uh, where Lord Krishna goes with his mm, uh, friends into the forest of Vindavan and there by the bank of the river Jamuna expands in as many forms as there are cowherd boys to eat uh, with them together and look while eating at them and exchanging things uh, or items, um, uh, uh, special uh, delectable uh, prasadam items. And in this way, yeah, being there for every one of his devotees. My dear devotees, my dear friends, my dear skeptics even, the Lord is capable and also willing to exchange very individual exchanges with each single one of his devotees. He's never occupied. He can expand. In fact, he has expanded in every heart. Um, of every person uh, and he waits that we turn our attention away from the fruits which this world uh, gives and uh, accept or receive the divine fruits of his unending and unlimited love and guidance. Yes. So Lord Chaitanya had made a point. He had just expanded into seven forms. I think my sound is not the right sound. <laughs> and uh, was now engaged with all his devotees in various kirtan parties. This was not visible to the devotees themselves. They didn't um, notice and make a, 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 you could say a mobile telephone news. What absolutely. What, what's up news? He is here, he is here. No, no. It was only seen by a lonely figure on top of a roof. It was the king Prataparudra who was hoping to one day see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally because Lord Chaitanya had so far not allowed it because uh, as a mm, word renunciant he was by etiquette mm, uh, uh, recommended to not see a king. No? So Prataparudra Maharaj was there together with his two of his priests, his Pandit uh, Savaboma Bhattacharya and his priest for, for functions, mm, uh, uh, religious functions and puja and Kashi uh, So yes, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had expanded mm, into seven forms. He began to dance so fast that his golden body resembled a turning uh, rod of, of fire, you know, firebrand, which you can 
uh, swing around in the night and then you see one golden circle. He was one golden circle. Mm, uh, he rotated very swiftly. Uh, you could also say like a, a wheel where the individual spikes could no longer be distinguished from each other mm, because of the, the fast turning around and then he broke down uh, on the ground and began to roll on the ground like a golden mountain. Very powerful presence. <laughs> yeah, this was surprising. <laughs> and he did it in seven forms. Uh, I think we can uh, not even, no, we can imagine to see uh, the, 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 because we might have some knowledge of what yogis do, but they can't move independent when they expand they don't move independently from each other they do everything the same like when you have a tv a few tv sets in a tv shop then every one of the tv shop will make this movie <laughs> movement uh, not a separate distinct movie so lord chaitanya was totally with each one of his party that was surprising. But Lord Jagannath's eyes became wider and wider and wider as he noticed the second phenomena which happened. The tremendous expansion and manifestations of the highest state of love. My dear devotees, we all have heard a little bit of love in this world. Yesterday I was at a scientific conference and I asked one I spoke with one uh, uh, of the presenters there mm. and I said, I noticed something is different with you from uh, the last time I saw you. One year ago I saw you on this conference. I have some feeling what could be different. So. <laughs> He, an intelligent man, he, he started to blush. And then, I know, and I said to him, you are in love. Am I right? And he blushed even more. <laughs> His face became red. <laughs> uh, and uh, some fiery element was there. And this is nothing about a symptom of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was so much in love, my dear devotees, that the fiery element was so strong that when he just reached with his hand into on a pillar, the fingers went into this massive pillar. I've seen with my own eyes a large stone, it's a slab of stone, which used to be on the floor before, you know, before a deity of Lord Alalanad. And the Lord Chaitanya had gone there. He had seen the Lord of the altar and overwhelmed with love. He had uh, fallen on the ground. And because his body was not, not just a little, <laughs> little hot on the cheeks, <laughs> because his body produced such a temperature, the stone 
started to melt. You can still see this phenomenal stone which seems to counteract all the laws of thermodynamics or whatever it's called. Uh, you can still see it. It is really overwhelming the type of love. Not just a little reddening, but boom, extremely uh, intense love. Um, uh, and he started to pray, Lord J J Jagannath, uh, Lord Chaitanya, overwhelmed with pr uh, love, started to uh, pray, Namo Brahmanya Devaya, Jayati Jayati Devo, Devaki Nanda Noso, and the other, Naham Vipro, I'm not a Brahmana, I'm not a Sutra, nor is my place uh, in one of the ashrams. I'm also not a sannyasi. What I really am is an eternal servant of uh, the servants of my Lord who shines forth this divine splendor. He, uh, Mahababu, chanted all these words and then he started to do the Udanda dance. Something about the dance. He had a fire wheeling dance, he had a group dance and he had a Tandavanritya which looked like, as, like the one dance style of Lord Shiva <laughs> where the Lord at the end of the universe Lord Shiva, at the end of the universe, dances his dance of destruction. Um, but the Udanda dance is something else. It's a dance where Lord Chaitanya jumps extremely high. I mean, extremely high, like a stick which is catapulted upwards. And then when he comes down, the whole earth shakes the whole you know there are geomantic sliding is going on uh, the earth plate changes mountains shake it's really a deep deep impactful dance uh, yeah 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 so uh, uh, I have here the earth with its mountains and oceans trembled whenever his feet came on the ground. His arms were outstretched, which does not come as a surprise, but his body was extremely stiff, like a stick. And all of a sudden, all the hairs on his body began to stand on end so that he looked like a simuli tree. This is a tree which has some mm, spikes or thorns and then some, it looks like cotton, something mm, fluffy. Mm, and uh, you can make uh, from that cotton some ropes and so on. Uh, and uh, sweat came profusely. His voice became so ecstatic that he chanted Jaya Gaga, Jaya Gaga. He could not say Jaya Jagannath. His, his, uh, the words became mumbled and drawn together. And streams of tears poured forth from his eyes like mm, uh, the, the stream of a syringe. Have you ever seen the soft uh, stream of water which comes mostly in a bowl from a syringe? This is how from the tears of Lord uh, Chaitanya, this tears spurted forward. I have heard from one of my God brothers that once Srila Prabhupada took darshan of the deities in Los Angeles who Shri Shri Rukmini Dvarakadish and as the kid, uh, the morning greetings uh, Govindam Adipursham prayers went on 
he started to also cry, but not like we cry, uh, you know, where the tears tr trickle down our face. No, they squirted in a bow out of his eyes and wettened the garment of uh, this uh, person who stood next to him. So Mahaprabhu also cried uh, while he danced like this. It was really mm, something his uh, uh, bodily color changed in many ways. Uh, usually he had a golden face, a color, but then it became uh, uh, how do you say in proper English? Pale, white, then it became red, extremely red, and uh, uh, like the sun when it is at the dawn, it's a very nice red, and uh, uh, so on. And he became just totally uh, lost in a world to which those who have no love find no access very easily. He became lost in the ocean, uh, the turbulent ocean of love of Godhead. My dear listeners, wouldn't it be nice if all of us can exit, exit is not the word I want to use, Enter is the use. We can enter this world uh, of love. And as we come back, even from a little bit walking into this room of love, everyone would feel it. You know, a devotee who enters the exalted level of Krishna consciousness can be compared the person who enters a perfume shop. I've never seen uh, perfume shops in the best countries, but I have seen them in um, uh, the uh, yes, eastern countries. And if you enter there, uh, you enter a world of fragrances, and as you come out, uh, the fragrances are still attached to your purse. And everyone whom you pass uh, can smell this cloud of good, good fragrances. So devotee should be like that. He should enter the level of Krishna consciousness where he has sambandha, a connection with Krishna. And that connection will always be per perceived by those he comes in contact uh, with. So Mahavabhu turned the whole card festival with its millions of pil pilgrims into a festival of love where everyone could feel uh, it, not just smell it, <laughs> but, but uh, feel it. And then he uh, wanted to perform this most, let me say, this dance, the Tandava Nritya, which I have mentioned already. It's very energetic, it's m moving, really beautiful, but very, very fast. And uh, because he felt something, as Lord Jagannath looked at him, uh, watching him, with great astonishment, Lord Chaitanya felt the reciprocation. He was entirely in the mood of Lord Krishna's uh, most exalted uh, worshipper, Srimati Radharani. And uh, Radha was always pining for Krishna, especially after he had left Vrindavan to go to uh, first Mathura and then even another town. 
Shimati Radharani's feelings of separation from her only beloved Lord were sometimes very, very strong. Um, she would enter states uh, where her sighs oh, would make stones break. Uh, so uh, uh, imagine her joy when she finally met Krishna again. So Lord Chaitanya was enacting this particular meeting between Radha and Krishna. Uh, he uh, was chanting and chanting and he sang this song. Mm, I have told you already, but now, oh, better I don't sing it. Now I have gained the Lord of my life in the absence of whom I was burned by the fire of the God of love and withered helplessly away. By the way, no one should think that these exalted emotions are in any way expressing suffering. When you feel longing in this world for someone who's not there, who may be in lockdown in Great Britain and you, he cannot come over to America, you really suffer. There's really absence. But when you can feel the need of the soul and long for Krishna, at that very moment, Krishna becomes present in the heart. His memory of memorizing him, thinking of him, is identical with meeting him. But these are very exalted uh, uh, subjects which can only be understood by experience, not by theoretical musing, but at least we hear from those who know what this feeling is, that when you feel genuine longing, genuine eagerness for Krishna. This is the most exalted, blissful state where you can meet the Lord. Therefore, this mood of separation, if you so want, in Sanskrit is called vipralamba, which means to attain something that is far away in the distance. Alamba, it's to attain Vipralamba. Uh, yes. So, mm, 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 my dear uh, listeners, uh, mm, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would uh, sometimes, uh, as he entered deeper and deeper and deeper levels of divine ecstasy, uh, act out while he was dancing with gestures, I better don't try, <laughs> uh, the divine meeting between Radha and Krishna, because he felt now Krishna, who was so long absent, is right here in front of my eyes as Lord Jagannath. Lord Jagannath, as we all know, is having a red rim around his eyes. A rim might not be the proper expression, it's like an edge, not a red circle around the eyes. When someone is merciful, he has a little bit or feels touched by someone. He has a little red corner or a little red color in the corner of his eyes. <laughs> when someone is very, very touched and has a lot of mercy, he becomes, his eyes become very, very, oops, <laughs> red. 
like here, uh, around the corner, right, Lord Jagannath, because there's so much mercy, so much ecstatic feelings of reciprocation. I'm watching. Yes, um, <laughs> we have to put the Lord on the altar. He quickly left his altar in the temple just to come out and um, now he needs to go back. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the darshan of the Lord and uh, I hope that his uh, uh, the red substance, it's called Sudakar, has showered blessings even through the internet on all of you. We could uh, talk about many, many, many uh, things that happened at that time, but uh, I would like to, in the end, only mention one incident, which I personally <laughs> like very much. It is uh, a thought-provoking inter uh, interaction which took place. See as, see, as Lord Chaitanya was dancing and dancing and dancing, people became aware of Goranga Mahaprabhu. They had come from various parts of India to attend this festival. They had obviously heard already about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu being something like the golden volcano of love. Not from an ordinary volcano, some lava comes forth when he erupts. But from Lord Chaitanya, when he became overwhelmed with the feelings of love, uh, the lava-like love flowed forwards to everyone who was there. Mm. So, obviously, people wanted to come as close as possible, maybe touch his lotus feet or just be close to him. And therefore, there were three protected rings mm, around Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, made by devotees who were uh, holding each other by the hands and the arms. And, uh, the first ring was protected by Lord Nityananda, the second ring by Gopinath, Acharya and Kashishvara Mishra, and the third ring was guided by Srivas Pandit. So in this way, a place was kept in the middle where all these millions of people could not come and, and, and occupy the space so that Lord Chaitanya could not move and could not dance. So, as I had mentioned earlier, the King of Puri wanted to really have a personal meeting with Lord Chaitanya. He was an extraordinary personality. Every morning he would go, get on his horse and ride on the horse with his staff. Uh, but in the first part, he would only hear the scriptures discussed uh, by people, pundits who apparently knew how to ride. Um, he was very, very, very focused. Um, then on his way back, he just did, handled in a few moments all the daily works with his ministers. They talked while being on horseback. He wanted to save time. And pretty much of his time was occupied in spiritual activities like reading or hearing Shastras and so on. At the same time, he was a very powerful uh, emperor and sometimes there were was need to defend the borders of his country. So he became so eager to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that the news came that he had declared 
if Chaitanya doesn't see me, but he sees everyone, then if he doesn't see me just because I'm a king who has to do with money and power and the renunciants don't usually stay around with such people, then I will renounce my kingdom, I will renounce my power, and I will become a beggar sitting on the street. And so this was Lodget, uh, this was this king's inner attitude. And so he had mm, watched Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from the rooftop of his palace uh, but now he saw a possibility because Mahaprabhu was dancing and the parade had moved a little. Uh, uh, he went with his um, general, Harish Chandra, and some other people and came close to the three circles. And as the dancing went on, <laughs> Harish Chandra, the general, wanted to see Lord Chaitanya and he, he pushed a little the shoulder of Sri Thakur to just bring the head a little to the side, will you? And Sri was uh, so disturbed because he was looking at the Lord that he just took his head and wham, he gave him a big slap in the face. Now, this you can't do to a warrior. For warrior, Anna, oh, it's everything. So, Harish Chandra, this, this general, became just, became hot headed, and he just wanted to say something or, or, or do something. Then he felt his king's hand on his shoulder and said, Calm down, or as you would say in New York, cool it, man. Uh, <laughs> calm down <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you should be very happy you have been in contact with the all auspicious hand of a devotee of the Lord <laughs> Sri Vastaku uh, therefore be happy I, I do like this somehow because it is said even the chastisement of a devotee is sweet, genuine devotee, you know? uh, is, is, is sweet. <laughs> so, so this was one of the many, many pastimes. Um, there were ma many other pastimes so ecstatic that Vyasadev will one day write about you. There were many subtle lessons uh, for us, because in whatever Lord Chaitanya does, he is also an Acharya, a great teacher to all of us. For us to end this katat for today, I just want to make one point. That is divine reciprocation. In everything which we do in bhakti, we are actually entering the one relationship, the most important relationship. Uh, when we take part of a Ratha Yatra festival, we pull the chariot and with it, we try to feel, to, not try to become aware that we are liking to pull the Lord back into our life. Everything in bhakti requires not only an activity, it's called Cheshta Rupa Bhakti, no, not just only the activity, but it requires your mood, uh, your devotion, your connecting with Krishna. I remember I was once in, no, I, I, you have all seen in India, they have these Arctic machines, huh? Uh, they have some gongs, these machines, and then uh, you can time them for the proper time. And then there are some sticks and they go on the gong, gongs, and it sounds like the musical accompaniment of an Arctic ceremony. But has the machine feelings? Has a devotion? No, it's only a machine. 
you uh, as an individual devotee can learn to enter the realm which Lord Chaitanya has given to the world, <clears throat> the realm of devotional feelings. And it is this which surprised, attracted, and even mesmerized Lord Jagannath to such a degree that he stopped his cart and looked with great astonishment on the, to the dancing of Lord Chaitanya. This is what the Lord wishes to see from each one of us. I would like to end here. The time is up. It was a great pleasure to address you. I can only assume that you are there. Uh, I cannot see you, but uh, it uh, was my great honor. Uh, Lord Jagannatha Swami Ki Jai. Si Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai.